Hey everyone, it's Cyan here, and welcome to the first episode of The Road to Necromancy, a little mini-series which I've decided to put together, which is going to help me prepare for the upcoming release of Necromancy on August the 7th. So the purpose of this series is for me to get a good stockpile of items which have been identified as being perhaps useful on the news post on the RuneScape homepage. There are also skill and quest requirements as well uh, that were also stated in the news post but seeing as I'm Max and have my quest cape uh, I'm not going to be going for those as it's not really needed I have everything I need but definitely the items. So as you can see here with this graphic on screen the main thing that you need is bones lots and lots of bones so um, it says a thousand of each I might not go for a thousand of, of every single type but at least a good stockpile a few hundred at least of each with a thousand being like the absolute max also pure essence because there's new runes coming with necromancy so I need to stockpile lots of pure essence so I can make these new runes as they come out I didn't put a set, uh, an exact amount but I just put lots because you're going to need lots of pure essence to make lots of runes. Overload potions are the next thing. Uh, the reason I want to make overload potions now is because when necromancy is released, any existing overload potions will be updated to include necromancy, whereas the ones you make after will require the new extreme necromancy potion to make an overload. So I want to stockpile as many overload as I can. I've said 500, which I think will be enough for me. I'm really not that big into PVM. So 500 overloads, supreme overloads, and elder overloads should be enough. Draconic Visage is also on the list. I put 10, and I know that's being really ambitious because Draconic Visage are quite a rare drop. So getting 10 of them is, uh, is going to be quite a challenge. I'll be happy with one. I don't, it doesn't say how many you need. So I put 10 just to be safe. Maybe I'll only need one, so I'll... Aim for 10, but one will be good. Also, a Spectral Spirit Shield. That's also going to be quite tricky, because that would, I have to get that from Corporeal Beast. So that's also going to be a, a, a tricky time, I think. And I'm going to say this now. I'm going to try not to use the Grand Exchange as well. So I'm going to try and get all this Iron Man style, which is where the additional uh, challenge will come in. And I think that's probably a good idea, because I tried to buy a Spectral Spirit Shield, and it wasn't even buying for double the uh, the price so I think everyone's getting the same idea and in buying those up and the price has just completely shot up so I'm gonna try and get these uh, Iron Man style also says metal bars from bronze up to Bane so not Elder Rune uh, I'm gonna go for 500 of each I doubt I'll need that much but I'm you know I'm preparing and also it says wool from player owned sheep don't know why I'm going to need that. That's going to be a bit of a mystery when uh, when Necromancy is released. But I've said 200 of each type. So that's white wool and then the spring, summer, autumn and winter. So that will require me to go back to player on files, which I haven't done for a while. Uh, the next things is there's three different armor sets. The spider silk, the blue mystic. It says only the blue, myst the blue mystic robes are being used, so not the dark or light. And also the robes of subjugation, which should be fine because God Wars 1 is quite easy to camp, so that should be fine. There are also two other things on the list which I'm not going to go for because I'm not that big of a PVMer. So getting an igneous stone from Zook will be a, a bit of probably too much for me. And also appraisal codex from Angel of Death is borderline impossible for me. I've done Angel of Death before, but it's, it's the grouping which is the issue. But that is what I'm going to be going for over the next five weeks. Trying my best not to use the Grand Exchange, although if it comes to release and I haven't got enough of what I want, I will resort to, uh, to, to using the, the Grand Exchange. But without further ado, let's hop in game and get started. Well, this is what I currently have. I went through my bank and just tried to spot everything which, uh, which I already have. I have a, quite a good collection of bones already. I, I, when I've been doing my skeleton and zombie slayer tasks and all those slayer tasks from the raptor, I've uh, 
slowly stockpiled uh, some bones. So I have a, quite a collection of, of regular bones and a few of each of the rest. So I'm going to focus on every other type of bone in a minute. I have 97,000 or 97,500 pure essence, which I think is going to be enough. So I'm not going to bother going for any more on purpose. If I get some more, fine. I'll add it to the I'll add it to this deck. But uh, I'm not going to try and go for any more pure essence. And then I have some of the wool. I have probably enough regular wool, so I need to focus on the spring, summer, fall, and winter types of wool. And then looking at my overloads, I have almost 600 regular overloads and 1300 just over supreme overloads. So I'm going to focus on making these supremes into elders, which should be fine. I just need to I need to get a herb law boost because I've only I'm only 104 herb law, not 106, which is what what's required for elders. But I think I should be able to boost it with the god banner or something else to uh to make a decent amount of of elders. And if I look at my metal bank, the only one I have a good amount of is oricalcum. So I need to make a good amount of everything else. So I'm going to have to get some, some mining done, especially with tin, iron, luminite, and necrite, and bane. So i got a bit of work to do with, uh, with mining. But first things first, I'm going to get the easy things out of the way. Now, while I said I wasn't going to use the Grand Exchange, I am going to use other shops, because these are always available in games. So I'm going to sell by myself this set of mystic rows and I just need to get myself to Oziac to get the mystic rope top seeing as that is the magic equivalent of the rune plate body so I'm gonna trade Oziac, get myself the mystic rope top and that is one set of armor ticked off the list and what I'm also able to do right now uh, let me do this in my necromancy tab. So, glass boots. And what I'm also able to do is come over here to the farming tab. I have a good stockpile of spider silk from my player and farm spiders. I should be able to craft myself. Well, I only want to do one. Let's cancel it. Craft myself an entire set. Of spider silk armor. There we go, full set of spider silk armor. Sets two complete armor sets crossed off the list in about 30 seconds. Well, I've come to player on farm, and it turns out I only have two sheep left, one of them being my shiny one and one of them being uh, the one which I used to breed the shiny one but they are both female so I can't use them to breed so what I'm gonna do is buy them I'm just gonna buy one ram, five ewes, an extra ewe for the breeding pen and then I think I think you can get six in at a time so let me just check these all real quick I don't care about traits, I don't care about anything, because the only thing I care about is getting them all grown up so I can get their wool. So, Gordon doesn't get to go. Because he's going to go in the breeding pen. Oh, never mind, there's only four in each. Fine. Let me clean out the dragon poop first. And Gordon and Una. Fill this up. And then buy two more use for the other panel. What's in there? Mushy mush. They don't eat mushrooms, I'm pretty sure. Feed these up. 
and hopefully this will get me a good chunk of white wool and then these two will breed and give me whatever season it is at the minute. What season is it? Summer. So hopefully they'll get me summer and then I can use my season changer whenever I need to. So that's the start of getting some more wool at least. Uh, we're 20 minutes into a hour of Zook and I got myself my first drop which is a hilt. Uh, nothing I really need because I need the armor set but uh, it's my first one since uh, boss drops log started so uh, hopefully the luck continues and we get some armor. And literally the very next kill gets me a gloves of subjugation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hopefully the luck continues with that, because that is awesome. <laughs> Third drop of the hour, Hood of Subjugation. Going well so far, maybe if I can, uh, won't take that, that many hours of Krill to, uh, to get the full set. Well, I've reached the end of that first hour of Krill, and I didn't get any other drops aside from two God Sword Shard ones. One from Krill and one from one of the minions. But all in all, two pieces of subjugation armor down. I'm gonna call that a successful hour of Krill. Well the sheep that I put in earlier have all grown to Elder and I got me ninety uh, white wool. None of them haven't bred yet in the breeding pen. But what I think I may do is just get two more rams put one you and one ram in each of these pens as well and just leave it so they can breed and get me the sheep natu uh, naturally that way rather than because I'm only get, I'm only gonna get white wool from buying the sheep from uh, the farmers market so I think I need to do it this way in order to get the uh, seasonal wool so but I got a good batch of uh, white wool from that, which brings me, I believe, to well over 200. Yeah, that gets me to 261. So I'm just gonna leave these sheep in here and then check back every so often, and hopefully that'll give me uh, the seasonal wool. Moving on from krill, I've decided to do a little bit of mining. Uh, the boon that I have at the minute is that I still have uh, 13 days left of my golden porter buff. So I'm just going to be easy. camping at each location for uh, a little while, just doing a little bit of mining for each resource, and then hopefully just building up that stockpile of ore that I will end up using in necromancy. So starting for tin and copper, and then going to work my way up through the tiers. Well, I've done about an hour of mining, and I now have enough to get 500 bronze and 500 steel but I do need a lot more iron ore seeing as iron ore or iron bars need two iron ore so I need another thousand iron ore but I'm making I made a good start on the lower tier bars but uh, it's probably the higher tier ones which I want to uh, I'm going to want for necromancy but we've made good progress Alright, well that will do for the first episode of the Road to Necromancy. This was a very quick first episode. Everything I did today was done over the course of a single day, but the remaining episodes, however long it takes, those episodes will be done over the course of a week or so. So there'll be this min little mini-series with just a few episodes long. But I think we made a good start today. We made a start on our subjugation. We completely finished our mystic and spider silk and we're making a good start on our bars as well we still have other bossing stuff to do such as corporeal beast and anything with draconic visage but we'll have to chop away at that over the next few weeks but i'll see you in the next one